This program is brought to you by the Reeves Law Firm, representing you and your social security and disability needs. If you have a problem or questions regarding social security and disability, call attorney Anthony Reeves. Mental health doctor says that they've tried you on all the medical, all the medication they can, and nothing helps. Will that get you disability benefits? It's never that simple. And I know you're probably sitting here going, "Mr. Reed, that's not what I'm asking. Was that enough to give me disability benefits?" And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say the magical attorney answer. It depends. Let me tell you why I said it depends. I've done this for almost 13 years. I can't tell you the number of times people will tell me, and I've I've had mental health patients come to me. Doctor says they've tried everything and nothing works. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, did they put it in writing? Yeah, yeah. Did you see it put in writing? Well, I saw it write it down. I know. I said, no, no, you saw them write something down. But did they dis the distinctly and definitively and, and concisely say, you can't do anything because they've tried you on all of these medications and they don't help? And that's when they pause. And I get the blank look. I'm like, I'm going to try to be funny, but it's the truth. Now, I have had clients that I've represented from mental health cases who have had a cocktail of medications. Kid you not, I had a young lady that I represented one time and literally Lexapro, Trazodone, Wellbutrin, Risperdal, Celexa, Celebrex, Abilify, Geodo, Concerta, you name it, Lithium. I mean, the whole nine, how dog, she would do everyone because they were trying to find the right medical combination to suit her. Now, the doctor noted in there that they, you know, because some of the medications she was allergic to, some of them she was drowsy and she was throwing up. The doctors noted in there that they had tried her on a litany of medications and they were having a difficult time finding a medication that actually works for you. Now, I'll be honest, I've never had a doctor flat out said, nothing works and just stop giving you medication altogether. They're giving you something. They're just trying to find which ones work. And the reality is, is remember, the human brain is still a great mystery to a lot of psychiatrists and psychologists. There are some things they know and there's some things that they don't know. So finding that right combination is sometimes a very delicate balancing act. And you've got providers who've been doing this for years and, you know, every patient is, diff is different. They can't assume that a cocktail that works for one may work well for another. So have I had clients on here? who have had a laundry list of medications that they've taken for mental health and so the doctor has basically indicated that they've been trying a lot but haven't been very successful? Sure. But I also know that the continuing treatment regimen they have on have them on currently lets me know how severe it is. An example that I just used before, Risperdal, Abilify, Geodo are all significant antipsychotics. And almost every cocktail they had, I think by the time I was done, she had like with Selexa, Prozac, Zola, she had like 13 different medications and invariably in each set of those medications, they always kept one of those antipsychotics in there. It was either Risperdal, Abilify, Geodone. So I tell people, when I'm looking at that collectively, that still lets me know that this doctor still believes that the conditions are still so severe that they need something a little bit more heavyweight. A lot of times what happens is finding that cocktail is not very easy. Now, will that help you? It depends on what the records say. So if I got somebody who is taking the medication and they're choosing to not take the medication or they're skipping doctor's appointments or they're missing appointments because of no reason, then you're going to have problems because you're going to have to argue to Social Security why the fact that they've missed those appointments should not be held against the individual. You want consistent longitudinal treatment. And even if that treatment demonstrates that they have tried you on different treatment reg reg regimens, ah, hooked on phonics, which means different medications, you want to be able to show the court that, one, you're taking it. So first of all, for you out here who are sitting here saying, well, what about doctors have tried me on all this and they say nothing works? I don't care if they say nothing works. You better keep doing what they tell you to do. Because if you stop, unless they tell you not to take anything, which I doubt, Social Security wants to know, are you following the medical treatment and are you doing and taking the medications you're supposed to? 
focus more on that and, and don't focus so much on the fact that your doctors you know say these things and this is the other thing I want to throw out there because I've had this happen and I and I don't want you to think I'm annoyed but sometimes it gets me angry because a lot of times people focus on what the doctor says and not on the bigger picture stop focusing on the fact that the doctor may have mentioned that they've tried you on so much but nothing helps is nothing helping meaning they are saying nothing helps or you are saying nothing helps now if you're saying nothing helps you need to tell that to the doctor because the doctor needs to be able to document that they're trying to get you on the right regimen give them that chance okay and focus on doing what you can to improve your health condition stop worrying about whether it's going to help your case stop worrying about whether it's going to prove that you're disabled you do what you need to do to improve your condition and if it's not improving let the record speak for itself don't let you be out here focused on trying to get it get your hook up in and being able to say see this is what the records say let the records speak for themselves if your medications are not helping your condition improve trust me let the doctors know it's not helping so they can document your file and social security can take that into consideration when reviewing all of your evidence I know it's easy to sometimes overlook the, the things that we do on a regular basis, but sometimes things as simple as yard work may take on a special significance when you're doing applying for Social Security. Think about it. It's not enough to just drive a, ride a lawnmower. You also have to take into consideration that you're bending over, you're picking up leaves, you're pulling up grass, you're pulling up weeds. And sometimes those things that you used to be able to do when you didn't have any problems now takes on a whole new significance. Make sure when you're discussing your daily activities and people are talking to you about what work you used to do in terms of around the house, give a good detailed description of what and how you're limited to do something as simple as taking care of your yard. The more you know, the more you can prepare.